Oh, by the way, I forgot. They've got a, a scientific Gallup poll out in Iowa. Ron Paul is only four points behind two guys. He's by, four points behind each one of them. Rick Perry, Mitt Romney, both the Clark Kent, Kendall types. And if you're going for Kendalls, folks, just go jump off the edge of a cliff, okay? We've had enough cheerleaders and effeminate Kendalls, okay? I, I understand you don't like old statesmen who actually are smart. I understand you can go for looks here. But, I mean, you know, Rick Perry looks like he's been run over by a 5,000-pound armadillo. But the point is, if you vote for the carbon-taxing, world-government-loving Kendalls, you get what you deserve. But finally... Ron Paul, it's in my stack here. You can pull it up. It's on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Ron Paul is only four points in a Gallup poll. Four stinking points behind Mitty Romney and Ricky Perry. Four points with the media, the establishment dying media, flopping around, flailing around like a dying, dying maggot. An 8,000-pound maggot telling everyone that he can't win. He is gaining He's been in the top three. He's won straw polls in New Hampshire and other areas. Statistical tie, even though Bachman bought hers. And, I mean, Bachman is better than Rick Perry and Mitt Romney. Don't get me wrong. I mean, even though she was an IRS attack dog enforcer, she spins that that she was wanted to learn the enemy's operations. And I went, wait a minute. That is actually one of the best pieces of baloney I've ever heard, or it's true. Because a lot of the top lawyers that fight the IRS did go to work for them first. And if you're going to fight the IRS, that's actually what you do. So maybe that's true. I'm not saying Bachman's perfect by any means. But Ron Paul likes her a lot better than, you know, he's friends with her. He likes her. She's not perfect. But she's a lot. Just, just listen, you idiots out there that like Rick Perry and that like Mitt Romney, what is wrong with you? Ron Paul is four points from being number one. He is number three right now. Bachman's now behind him in every major poll. Ron Paul could be the next president. Would he fix everything? No. Would it be a big step in the right direction? Would it be a big signal that the American flag's flying above this country again? The globalists wrap all their tyranny in the American flag. They sell their whole agenda in fake patriotism. Meanwhile, it's back in the news. It's now hit AFP, big French news agency, and other publications that... Cancer among 9-11 workers sparks political storm, that there is a cover-up of it, that they're barred from the September 11th events this year. In America, you can't have a lemonade stand. First responder heroes aren't allowed at the memorial. FEMA runs around blocking people's uh, response to hurricanes and fires. It's a twilight zone. Gibson guitar is raided, and India says they haven't even broken a law. And they tell Gibson, get out of the country. You got a bunch of crazy people running things. A bunch of crazy like a Fox control freaks who all over the country say, well, we've got giant belts of government land along cities and the government won't sell the land uh, and no one's allowed to even take the dead timber out. People are like, but when there's a fire, it's going to really devastate things. They go, sorry, that's the way it is. I've seen news in Austin now where they don't even let you cut your own trees and they're, they're fining people and arresting people. Incredible. Um, Aaron in Texas, Wildfire Info. Aaron, what's on your mind today? Oh, thank you. Um, okay, there's the uh, Stone Oak Fire out in San Antonio. Um, evidently, it was actually started by uh, a city vehicle, a uh, sanitation vehicle was uh, working on something. And... Uh, so the people are all outraged. Uh, they're asking them to pay for it. And then looking in the comments on the story, which is very good, um, it seems like uh, one person has commented, uh, I live a stone's throw from Stone Oak. We recently received a notice from Saw, that's the sewer district, that they were going to be testing for leaks in our sewer systems and, be, and would be using a smoke generator to do so. So uh, they may be uh, covering the story with that the truck got stuck in a ditch and uh, overheated and that sparked the fire uh, as a way of you know covering their negligence type of thing well that's, that's how a lot of thing. these fires are starting as cars break down you you go off the road grass touches the bottom and there's high wind blowing and a fire starts right there look if if, if government has to pay for burning the houses down we pay for it i mean you know there's such a thing as an act of god and homeless have been starting some of the fires in town trying to cook their food i mean it's dangerous uh, it's it's desert conditions, 20% humidity, 
No rain for three or four months in most areas. Not enough rain the last you know five years. And it's like a tinderbox. I'm like living in a fireworks factory. Uh, but uh, send us that article to uh, show tips at infowars.com. Aaron, anything else? Oh, I just love your broadcast. I really appreciate the work that you're doing. And uh, I uh, want to say that uh, let's not forget that Biden's. Huh? Hello? Yes, you said Biden. Go ahead. One top story. I want to say two things. Biden uh, got sworn in, uh, swears in uh, Petraeus as CIA director today. Pretty yes. Suspicious. But I want, I want to say something about uh, Drudge. Drudge is just an aggregator of the news. He just puts up the headlines. He doesn't write the story. So what is her problem, Napolitano? She's just what, complaining that he puts up stories that other people write or something? That's well, no, 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 no. L listen, more than half the TSA stories that Drudge linked to, and, and last year, it was mainly ours. I'd say 90%. Our hardcore reporting, our catching them in lies. Drudge, I mean, we're big, but nothing compared in the web world. No, nothing. I mean, he, he drives more than Facebook and Twitter combined, even the New York Times admits. He is numero uno setting news agendas. They hate it. And so this is Napolitano basically attacking InfoWars. And, and it shows the effect we're having, just like... We openly had the White House come out against us. We exposed their program to shut down selective power plants. The White House came out and said we were full of baloney. We're really getting to the point now. I mean, it came out two years ago. I was on the White House enemies list, and I, that doesn't scare me. That's a mark of honor. That's a badge of courage. That, And that's a badge of courage. That's a trophy that belongs to all of you, the listeners. We don't have power because of Alex Jones. We have power because of you spreading the word about the radio broadcast, about Infowars.com, about the videos, about PrisonPlanet.tv. And now our new offering in the fight for liberty, the Infowars Nightly News. God bless you. Good to hear from you. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Damon. Uh, Damien in South Carolina, thanks for holding on wildfires. Go ahead. Alex, first of all, I want to say um, I feel for you. I, uh, I'm very sorry to hear that you guys are having all those fires out there. Um, I, I own timber property here in South Carolina, and I have lots of friends who work in the land uh, management, and uh, we've had some serious fires here in the last few years because of the same problems that you're having. Federal government won't let um, the land and uh, timber management people do control burns. Myrtle Beach, I don't know if you remember this, um, last summer and the summer before and even this year, had massive burning uh, that went on out there. No, you've got to cut channels and do controlled burns. In the old days, neighbors got together and did it. And by the way, we've now learning in Bastrop, that there's a state park out there. That's where a lot of this is going on. Turns out the feds don't allow control burns there uh, because they're advising the state. Turns out it's, uh, it's the same story again. South Carolina has had almost as dry of a summer as you have, and we've had massive burning um, in the last two years and this year out in Myrtle Beach area specifically. But um, the other point I want to touch on briefly is that um, Gerald Salente, it's interesting, he mentioned it. I've been on hold for a while to talk to you today. Um, Vermont was just completely devastated by the rain from Irene. I don't know if you've seen the pictures. I've seen mean. it. And and their whole industry is tourism, and the roads aren't there for tourists now. And for Gerald to say that you know we're seeing you know collapse by collapse by collapse, and they sent National Guard up there, and all, and and I don't know if you remember this, Vermont was so proud at 08 that they were the first state to tally all their votes, and they overwhelmingly voted for Obama in the election, and. <laughs> It's like he's not even going up there. I mean, I don't, I don't want them to send FEMA there, but they're not getting any relief. I mean, certain states are sending stuff up, which is great, but um, the the flood insurance, which which is controlled by FEMA, everybody's claims are being denied because all the oh, that's another great point. They're they're denying almost all the claims. FEMA makes you buy flood insurance and and in many cases purchase it through them because others won't insure. Then they deny it. That's another incredible scandal it's another tax and you're absolutely right look look i appreciate your call it's very elementary states are supposed to have the national guard for emergencies the feds take that away from us and give us fema back which are a bunch of worthless criminals we'll be right back okay you heard me mentioning that ron paul ad this is the only way ron paul is going to win a we expose the hoax that he, he can't win we explain to people this is a psychological warfare tactic. B, we put up the fact that he's the only person with a no compromise 
voting record who predicted the, the problems we face accurately. C, he's the only guy being demonized and attacked across the political spectrum because he is an outsider. And of course, D, if we vote for establishment candidates again, we deserve what we get. But more importantly, and lastly, we have got to go after Mitt Romney and we've got to go after Rick Perry. We have got to expose them. Their records are unbelievably bad. I mean, the, these guys may be slick talking and there's something about yuppies and establishment people. And I watch it. If you get around really rich people, really successful people, and I've in my days been around a lot of them, they're nice, they're real on average, but they're also somewhat reclusive. But you get around social climber wannabes. I don't care if they're black, white, Hispanic, whatever they are. They're like in a make-believe land, come of the country club types, where they ignore people and act all manipulative and sit there and play games. They act like junior high or something. And that's why they're all into how they dress and what they drive and and, and having a certain look and, 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 and whatever group, the hippies do it, the motorcycle folks do it, the, uh, the sports fans do it. I'm not saying you're bad if you like motorcycles or sports or hippie stuff. I'm saying within all those little genres, there's a certain group that latch on to it and say, I'm in this community. And these mainline Republicans really think it's all about going for the establishment candidate, and somehow they win. It's like the uh, know-it-all, calling everybody else stupid, uh, liberal types uh, who, who defend Barack Obama no matter what. I've noticed online, they are some of the nastiest people. I mean, they will put out whole cloth, incredible lies on their own websites, even though I could sue them into oblivion, because they believe that they're on a holy mission. To, to expose me because I don't like Barack Obama. And you try to point out he's bought and paid for by big foreign banks. He's continuing the torture of the war. They're like, shut up, scum. Okay, but he's funding Al-Qaeda. I mean, this is a war in Libya, right? I mean, he is a peace prize. Shut up, you dirty right-winger racist. And you're like, but, but be an adult. I'm, I'm not any of those things. I'm a human being just like you. I want to communicate with you. And they're just like, we don't want to communicate with you. We're in our club. We feel like we're winners. And it's the same on the right and the left. They're, they're establishment wannabes. And they're going to destroy this country. They're going to destroy this country. And they imagine they've got all this power because they invest themselves in Obama. Or they invest themselves in Rick Perry. Or they invest themselves in Rush Limbaugh. And... It's an illusion. I mean, it's a mirage. And and look, this 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 new world order is going to destroy all of you people. All the blessings, all the good stuff, all the milk and honey, all of the free market. It's all going out the door. And and on top of it, the big mega banks that are openly setting up the world government that you were taught doesn't exist. Now it's openly announced. You won't fight it because you said, well. If you're, if you're establishment, you, you don't admit this exists. You people are jokes. You're jokes, and you think you're winners. You giggle and smirk at real issues. You have no idea what you're allowing to uh, take place. But look, it doesn't matter. You're a bunch of cowards. Just get out of our way. Get out of our way. We're going to restore the republic. Get out of our way. Believe Obama's going to save you. Believe Rick Perry's going to save you. Get out of our way. We're going to restore the republic.